What's going on guys? Welcome to The Front. This is a game that I've been playing and in this video I want to show you some tips based around The Front. Now I've done about 100 hours into this game. This is my third wipe now and this is my best wipe so far. I'm extremely rich in this wipe. It's absolutely insane. I don't even know what to do now. I have so much stuff. But what I want to do is give you some critical tips that are going to help you become a better player in the front this is mainly focused around base building pvp and stuff like that but it also works for pve so let's get started and i will explain to you what you need to do to be extremely efficient and become very rich in the front so let's get into this guide about the front all right now this is not a top 10 top 5 top 50 tips video i'm just giving you random tips on how you can improve your game in the front so let's get started so the first thing, one of the first things you want to do is build some farms outside. You don't need any lighting or nothing. You don't need to water them. They stay moist and they get sunlight and they will just grow automatically. And then what you do is use this little thing here, which is called a sickle to go ahead and harvest the plants just like this. I'll do it right now. And you get back seeds and you get back the plant. So you can just keep rotating it out. As you can see, I got 104 wheat and I got 78 seeds. Now I'm on a two time server, so it's more than usual. And what you're first gonna grow is dandelion seeds and that's gonna give you plant mucus and you're gonna need a lot of plant mucus and then you're gonna need a lot of wheat because that is what you use to make alcohol to make explosives. The next tip I can give you is to get up one of these ASAP. This is a manual miner. What this does is you can mine oil or ore. And as you can see, if I open it up, I've got some sand and some bricks in here and I just had some oil that I took it out. Now you have to be on this, but this is really good. So if you go AFK, you've got something to do, just jump on this. Like for example, when I go and have dinner, instead of leaving the game, I will sit on here for 10 or 20 minutes and it's free resources. So I essentially call this the AFK machine. Get one of these up if you plan to go um, AFK quite a lot. Next is you want to get up a simple mine shaft as fast as possible and you connect this to a generator. This is the generator here. What this does is this automatically mines materials for you. As you can see, it has mined all of these materials for me. I'm going to grab them real quick. But that means I don't really have to do much mining unless I need a lot of materials. But this is very steady and it's very good and it gives me a lot of materials. The next thing you want to do, and this is the same to that, is you want to get one of these up. I can't remember what this is called. An oil rig, I suppose. This is called an oil well. It does the same thing. You hook it up to a generator and it gives me oil and bricks and sand which is what you need and this is hooked up to a generator you also want to create a, um, a pyrolyzer i guess it's called straight away was for, as soon as you can because this you can use to create gasoline and polymer and polymer is what we're going to be using quite a lot in this game in fact i'm going to uh, craft some now real quick to make materials so i would focus on those as soon as you can in the game because they automatically generate resources for you. The farm, the well, and the well down there, they generate resources for you automatically. You don't have to really do anything. The next thing is base design, a simple tip. Go to concrete as fast as you can. So a concrete wall um, is 4,000 durability, a single concrete wall, and it's much um, better than stone and wood, which would make sense. And another tip I wanna give you regarding building is there is two types of materials. So you're gonna have like a standard concrete wall or a concrete wall two by two. Now a concrete wall two by two is double the HP of a normal wall. So it's much stronger. The only problem is if it gets blown up, it takes away two walls. Now these are a bit of a pain to build with, but what I use the concrete walls for, I haven't done it in this base design, but you wanna use it on your core of your base because it's gonna give your core of your base double durability. Now, keep in mind when they blow that away, they're gonna blow out two squares instead of one. However, it's gonna take them a long time and they're gonna blow it out either way. So whether it's one square or two squares, it doesn't really matter. So what I do is, uh, is I use two by twos for my foundation and I use two by twos for my core wall and my core roof. I haven't in this space, but that's what I usually do. And then I use the rest on the outside. Now, if you're doing PVP, I've got a lot of hours in rust, so I kind of just see the same. You see how I've honeycombed my space. I will let you know that honeycombing is very difficult in this game because uh, the building is very different to rust. Like I can't honeycomb this area because of the because I've built on a 
on a um, hill. So if you want to honeycomb it properly, you want to build on build on a flat area. But you do want to honeycomb your base because that will make them use way more explosives than they really need to. Now, one of the most important tips that I can give you is to make sure your furnaces are always burning wood all the time because this carbon powder you need a lot of it later on and it's extremely hard to make it it's very slow you need to have this burning 24 7 if you can you can use fiber as instead of wood but you don't get the carbon powder that you can only use fiber to actually craft the ores uh will smelt the ores so you want to be burning wood all the time all of my furnaces um my ones outside upstairs, they're always burning wood, no matter what. I'm always burning wood in my furnaces because I want to have carbon powder. The next tip that I can give you is blueprints. You want to watch out for these blueprints and you can actually craft these specific blueprints. Now, the reason why you want to do this is because, for example, this jackhammer here, I get like 250% more ores when I'm farming and it's a massive difference it's absolutely insane so as soon as you can get yourself a jackhammer or a chainsaw for example that's blue you want to craft that ASAP same with weapons so this specific weapon here this SMG the base damage usually without a um, I think this is a rare I guess is 33 with this it's 44 I can't remember if any of the other stats change, but these are called blueprints and you can craft them. So you get the blueprint here. So for example, this is a bolt action. You get the blueprint and then you can craft by pushing the, car, uh, the blueprint button. You can craft this specific item and the blueprint does not go away. It stays there. And you also have it for things like clothing as well and structures. So for example, this concrete floor is an epic blueprint. The durability is 165% rather than 100 percent and another tip that a lot of people don't realize is you are going to need a lot of resin to make polymer so what you want to do is you to make resin you want to go ahead and create a grinding table and you want to put wood into the grinding table and then what you want to do is click resin and you can craft resin with wood Make sure you do this, you're gonna need a lot of resin. Next, when you can craft yourself a medical station, because you can craft small med kits. Now you will need alcohol for this, you're gonna be doing this later on in the game, but these give you a 40 plus HP and two, um, two HP every second, or every, um, every second for 60 seconds. Now with standard bandages, you get one HP every second and that's it. So you wanna try to get to small med kits as fast as possible, especially in a PVP server. Now another thing to gain extra XP that a lot of people don't know of, you want to go ahead and create a kitchen. Uh, this is called a kitchen counter. And you wanna craft a barbecue. This restores your fullness to 30, but this increases HP by 10% and you can stack it up to three times um, the, the, the time. So 10 minutes you can turn into 30 minutes and you can have 10% XP increase for 30 minutes. That's absolutely insane. Now, one of the best tips I can get to uh, give you to get uh, the XP the fastest is to go and mine materials, ores, stones, and everything like that. That is hands down the fastest way to get materials in the front. Uh, sorry, to get XP in the front. The next thing is you want to have some shooting platforms, especially in a PvP server. So I have a shooting platform here where I can see out windows, right? I have multiple angles. I can see up here and I can see here. Oh, and I can see here and stuff, right? But then I also have a second shooting floor. I need to change this door here. I have a second shooting floor at the top, which just has my peak downs. Uh, this base design is not very good, to be honest. So I, ha I have peak downs here. I have peak downs here. And what I've used is I've used two bits of uh, a bit of roof that goes out with my turrets on top. And then I've used a half wall here. So I can peak the half wall. I can peek down these gaps if I need to. I think this is probably the best design I've done based on shoot downs and platforms. I have a very good um, angle of what I need to do. And I can shoot stuff. Now that's obviously a NPC, but that's what well, you definitely want to have a very good um, shooting platform. Next uh, tip I can give you, build these as soon as possible. These things are very OP and they're going to keep things out of your base. And another thing that you would want to build as well and I have them actually down, I'll show you, down here. 
is these um, ballistic uh, arrow things. These are quite good as well. And you can get this in here. Another tip that I'm going to give you guys is to make sure you are crafting as much gunpowder as you can and craft as much ammo as you can. You will rip through ammo in this game super quick. When I go out on missions, it really depends on your playstyle, but I like to be loud and get out there and I really don't care about making noise. I'll use three to 400 SMG rounds in a single session of going and raiding um, NPC bases or mines and stuff like that. And another tip I want to give you is to make Molotov cocktails. These are really cheap to raid with. You can take out stone with Molotov cocktails. You can take out wood and i haven't tried concrete yet but it takes out stone very quickly this is the most efficient way in my opinion to blast out stone quickly and i would say on a budget it's not that cheap to craft but on a budget i would say that this is the best way to raid when you're starting to not spam chest uh, boxes wood boxes everywhere when you start i see a lot of people do that they put boxes everywhere because eventually you can craft a shelf and you can make it much tidier by stacking six on a shelf or you can stack three medium storage chests on a shelf if you like as well so that's what i see a lot of people do they just put chests all over the place and they've got to destroy them and move them around i would recommend putting a few chests on the ground until you unlock the storage shelf all right so i had one more tip to give you guys and this i feel is quite important so i've got all of this stone here now if you don't um have anywhere where you can get ores so you can't get iron or lead ore or copper or there's not much around you you can do these things called advanced refinement where you can turn stone into ore so what I do is I put the stone in and I click, I make sure this is active and I go to here and I go and do 200, I'm going to do 200 and you get a random ore. So these just stack up from me doing it. So that's a really, really good way. If you have this on all the time, you just go farm stone, you're never really going to have to go and farm these other materials because for example, inorganic salt is quite hard to get. You have to go to these hard areas along the shoreline here where there's a lot of other players sweaty players or you have to go to the salt mine here which is a lot of sweaty players there as well so i would recommend doing um this because it's a very very um, good way to get ores fast all right guys i'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe tap that notification bell, smash that like button i just wanted to give, give you some tips after one hour after 100 hours of gameplay